morning, everyone. We're floating through the stars and getting ready to head in to um, the finished Singularity run here. Um, we were stopped at the Zimborajandi system, or not system, but galaxy. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to take a moment to uh, put down a base in the galaxy and then uh, try looking at another galaxy, too. But the first thing we have to do is kind of get in to do that. Um, we should be, if I recall, on the Nexus, because I think that's where we were last um, when we stopped. So we'll get there in a few minutes or a few seconds, depending on how you're counting, as we float to the stars here. And I, I still think this is one of the most beautiful entrances to a game. And, and, and it's, it's basically a load screen, you know, but it's, it's oddly comfortable and comforting and wild. Um, it's just, just a lovely way to go into a game. So, yeah, so there's my opinion for the morning. <laughs> anyway... Um, I hope everything's going well with everyone. It's supposed to be a very toasty day here. I've already been out and watered the plants, and it felt actually pretty nice out there this morning. Okay, here we are. We are on our uh, ship. It looks like um, looks like my guys are here, so I guess they must have stopped uh, in the ship. Let's take a look at where we are. Yep, we're in Lista 42, so we made it back to the, the, the freighter, which is good. I'm gonna go ahead and call the, the fleet back in so they're not wandering around somewhere else, I guess. Ooh, activated emerald and iridescite. A psychonic egg. Money. Album and pearl. More money. Lots of money. Herox. More money. Ooh, this was a good one to send them on. My goodness. Yeah, lots of money this time. And a hybrid eye plum cultivar. Alright, awesome. Let's see how much our total was here. 316,000. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. All right, so um, what we're going to do, uh, my grand glorious plan, is we're going to go out and we're going to get into Tigger real quick. Um, we've put our foot in, in the list of 42. Um, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I probably should go to the space station before I do this. And then after I go to the space station, we're going to go uh, fly in for a bit. Um, just to get a little bit away from where people have already set their foot down. Um, because it, there's no doubt that this system is, is likely more crowded than it seems. Um, just because it's been around for a while, people have known about it for a long time. And it's kind of like with expeditions, after a certain point there's enough going on that um, the my little Xbox says, I, I can't do this. So all I'm doing here is making sure I put my foot down and then I'm going to head back out. What's interesting is taking me, it looks like, to the side of the uh, rather than that's odd. Okay, but we'll try the whole galaxy core thing, see how far it'll take me. 
All right. Hopefully that's a yellow star there. It is. It's a G4. Okay. Yeah, well, I don't necessarily need a three star to start. I, I'm just heading toward my first yellow star, so I can call. Or my second yellow star, I guess. So I can call my friend. Okay, well let's 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 do that then. Yes, it just you know, this is me just trying to get a little distance from the other other uh, places anyway. So, see if we can find a three three star yellow system. At least I think it's G and F stars are all yellow. Oh, here we are out then. Out in the middle of a battle. But I'm not here for that. Let's see if we can find this. Oh, good. It's a real bug. Oh, rewards are fun, aren't they? Yeah, that's true. Hostile ships approaching. Like I seem to have a, a, a helper. That's right, I did get a helper. In this one. I have a squad base. I forgot about that. Wow. Oh. I apparently got a little too close to the ship there. Let's go take a look at 
this ship. at it, but what's going to happen is I'll transfer the original over. But I just realized that I got all my stuff there. Yep. Oh, this, this, it's got a table. Ooh, a table. An office. It's got a little office. And it's got the, um, you know, um, Planetary scanner, a fleet thing, another fleet thing. It's a nice ship. It is a nice ship, but honestly, I think mine's got better stuff going on on the inside. Let's, let's talk. That's, that's it. Yeah, let's, uh, we'll inspect the freighter anyway, just to inspect it. Let's compare. I can't afford it anyway, <laughs> so it's uh, 128 million, and I have 70 million, so about you know about twice of what I got, even if I were to exchange. So what we're gonna do is claim our other reward. Mine was surprisingly awesome. I mean, as a find goes. My little tiny, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying the fleet thing is nice, I'm just saying that I'd much rather have the guard. Well, this is true. Just by gathering a nip-nip, I could have a half a million dollars every day, and that's just... Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're gonna... Either that or an outlaw system. We'll just, you know... But, uh, uh, yeah, the outlaw systems tend to not be three-star. There's a three-star right there. It's a GF, G4F and has water. That sounds like a place for us. Yeah, so it's not so far that I couldn't find it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Cause I, you can hit Y on this and it'll give you more information. I know, I tend to go seat of my pants sometimes here. All right, we are heading into this system with the intention of putting a base down. We'll know for sure once we see the planetary setup and um, the kind of planets that are, are there. I mean, if they're aggressive sentinels, I'm sorry, I'm passing. But high sentinel is acceptable. We got four planets. We have a fungal mold. We have a selenium. We have ancient bones, but aggressive sentinels. 
But we do have a desolate, uh, it looks like, planet that happens to look like it might also be cold. So, incandescent is going to be hot. Very hot. So we got hot, cold, noxious, and then a western planet. Hawaii Alpha. <laughs> you know what? Let's go to let's go look at the incandescent planet because that's kind of a name. That's that's what they said. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go step into the space station. No, it's just high, high. So. The goal in this one is to have a footprint in the um, galaxy. No. It's, it's not that we're sitting there looking for a special planet yet. We're looking for something that will allow us to come back. As long as you have your own base, and, and here's the, the flaw in the base system, okay? There are 250-something galaxies. It would make sense to have, at least, to be able to have, for your personal bases, 256 bases. I'm just commenting. But you can't, so you gotta get selected. But when you're first starting out, it makes sense to have one or two, you know, in a system. All right, let's go see why this person named is Hawaii Alpha. Uh, no, no, this is a second. Somebody else named this planet. It does. Yeah, it's got some. Oh, it's got the palm leaves thing going on here. I'm pretty sure it does. We'll do a first scan here. Like a very basic first scan to see if there's like a house nearby. But this is a big planet, so I think it's going to be easier to do like the trade outpost. And just do it this way. Trading post detected. in six hours, but really it's in four minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and go on back up. Ooh, it's got pretty skies, so pretty skies. Yeah, we'll just put it in the trading post. It'll be, you know, uh, sort of a neutral-ish place to put it because, you know, all the trading posts are air-conditioned. Yeah, we're, we've started out with clouds, so I'm kind of hopeful that some of the weather predictions are a little less scary. <laughs> yep. down real quick. <laughs> and the nice thing is, when you go in to look on the teleport, it's going to tell you what galaxy the base is in. So, uh, then you can make choices. You know. There we go. Very nice.
got like um like a kind of dino going on here. Um, we've got like those sail palm looking trees there. There's a weather warning. Firestorm coming. All right, so I'm gonna get my, my little digger here. We're gonna take off. <laughs> now I admit, if I were to name a place Hawaii Alpha, I would probably shoot for a uh, very lush world myself. But that, that's just me. All right. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just dropped the base down for right now, and now we're gonna go uh, back to the Nexus because one of the, the the things that I'm trying to do here is establish a base in the two other galaxies um, besides our, our original universe. It's basically like having free space, you know. Free travel to other galaxies. Well, of course I'm gonna try. And it's my hope that when they do the next set, that they'll also have some other galaxies to visit. What I'm thinking is like, oh, I don't know. When I have, say, like a co-pilot who has a different set of galaxies, we'll just visit each other and share it, you know? That's what the multiplayer is good for, is helping yourself get places, you know. With the trick being, if you go to visit the friend on the multiplayer, make sure, and you're in a different um, different galaxy, be sure and put a base down, because that's going to be the only way for you to get back. Alright, I'm going into uh, the perfect perk coffee space, because that one has the galaxy in the Bountiful. Uh, galaxy, and we definitely want that one. Well, it's a bountiful system, but we know that the galaxy itself is also bountiful. With the likelihood of three-star systems and more lush planets, and it's a little easier than um, other kinds of galaxies. So, that alone makes it well worth visiting. Ice attempt for the win, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, that's true. I mean, like from from Euclid, you could get to. Uh, you know, another galaxy, to Hilbert, and then from Hilbert you can get to another galaxy from there, and it's my understanding that the isotope is like the 10th galaxy, you know, and I've, I personally have never made it past Hilbert, so maybe that's something to try, is to see how many galaxies we can go through. The problem is, galaxy hopping is hard, I mean, because it, it, well, yeah, because, you know, the galaxies stretch across, and if you're going from one end to the middle, it's about 700,000 light years a pop. Sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. Oh, dear. I think I fell. I think, I think I... Yes, I did. I fell through the ground. Let's see if we can get out. Well, you know, I went into the Isotum Galaxy. I'm hoping these are stairs. No, nope, this is a support system. No, it is funny. It's very funny. Um, well, this makes it a little, little tricky. Oh, I can get out. I can get out. I just... I'll just be on the ground outside, not in the building, but thank goodness for twitchy little corners, I'll just say. Oh my goodness. Huh. Phew. We're, we're, 
I, what you can't see me doing is wiping my forehead. That would have been a very short little uh, visit. Yep. Anyway, this is the coffee shop, and actually, it is pretty awesome. Um, of course, you can hear the music playing because it's got like a little uh, album going uh, in the beatbox. Um, but, you know. I, I love how comfortable this little coffee shop feels. Um, oh, that's kind of a clever little way to do a statue and a light there. I'm sorry for the jerkiness of the um, movement here. I don't mean to be quite so jerky. It's just kind of the way the the settings are. I, I love this uh, concept. It's really pretty. It's well made out. It's kind of why they made it an example. Here's the bathroom. Right, yep. Alright. I believe I can fly. Oh, look at what they did with the fables. Well, that's cool. That is, that's nifty, actually. I love this whole laptop thing going on there. That's cool, too. Yeah. There's our beatbox. Yeah, this is nice. It would be kind of nice to populate a place, um, you know, but that's kind of like why I use like my regular companion and my get holographic kind of populated place so that it looks like it's staffed or whatever. But either way, you know, lovely little place. Lovely little place. All right, I'm calling Tigger because I'm not sure where she actually landed. We're gonna go on up. And we're just gonna go to the space station. And this is otherwise known as insurance. System, so this is a yellow star system. That's very nice. Now, I'm guessing there probably are bases here. They're just not loaded in yet. Uh, because this is another system that's had a lot of people visit it. Yeah, and I'm putting my foot down here in just a moment. Yeah, I'll have to visit all these train stations to get like my excess thing, but I'm just trying to um, do the thing where I'm just establishing a footprint in these two galaxies. I kind of looked around the um, coffee shop for a little bit um, because. Um, you know, I just wanted to show why they said, you know, go look at this, because it's well worth looking at, you know? Yeah. Alright, so we're flying back out, and I am heading to a different system. We're going to try and shoot for a three-star system again. And in theory, it should be really easy to find, but we'll find out. I'm going to do a free explore here. Got a three-star G-star water uh, Corvax system. So, and I'm gonna press Y, 
and it'll tell me more about it. Okay, now I don't have a conflict engine to tell me whether there's any conflict going in there, but you know, this, if you were doing like the economy kind of style play, it tells me this system is alkable. It sells at 30% or 60.3% or and buys at minus 21.1% and is affluent. So, I mean, if you knew how to make money doing that sort of thing, I, I guess I would definitely press Y for each of the systems I'm visiting. Um, to find out who buys for more and who sells for less, right? I, or it sells for more and buys for less. I honestly don't know. I, I am not a um, <laughs> an economic player slash person on any level. I look at money and just say thank you. I'm so grateful. I have enough. You know. <laughs> But it is something that I really enjoy about this uh, this game, that you can make money in a diverse uh, kind of ways, you know. You, you can become a mogul um, just by trying, and, and I love that about this game. Um, and you can find whatever your comfort level is. I, I know some people's comfort level is in um, much more than mine is, <laughs> put it that way. Um, but it's fun to watch them um, figure it out, you know, go finding the ships and selling them or whatever they're doing. Or I do miss being... Okay, okay. I do miss being able to do the, um, um, the cobalt, the ionized cobalt thing. Um, because it was fun to be able to do that. Alright, we're going into the space station. Uh, oh, fly. It's an orange system. I know that the colors of a system also mean something, but right now for me it just means, oh look, look this, is, this system is in an orange nebula, that's what it means. Um, there's a lot more information online. You can look up the No Man's Sky. It'll tell you all sorts of things. I feel lucky to know that G and F stars are, are yellows. Um, that's a big improvement in my knowledge base because I didn't know that until just a little while ago. Um, so all of those letters mean something about the type of star system that you're in. Okay, let's take a look and see. Oh, we got a five star system. All right, we got a planetary anomaly. We might go visit that one. We've got a paradise planet. Ooh. We've got another paradise planet. It's, it's, there are definitely people here. Because, I mean, there are three paradise planets. And then uh, one uh, rough planet. So, um, I am thinking... I might go take a visit um, on one of these paradise planets because it doesn't really matter. It looks like they have all sorts of cool stuff going. And um, I'm interested in the uh, planetary anomaly just because, you know, we know that they're weird. So let's, let's go take a look real quick. See where we're at. We are in front of one of the paradise planets. Let's, let's go take a look at the base here. Yep, we're right in front. It has three paradise planets. Yeah. And it has one planetary anomaly and then one kind of uh, just not not like the other, you know? <laughs> okay. Look. This looks like a pretty nice, simple base that's buried under the grass. So it's been here a little while. Oh, it's kind of one of, one of the Dr. Sushian uh, paradise planets. Yeah. Oh, I guess. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Bye. Bye up.
Oh, we. <laughs> well, this is a problem. In case you're wondering, this does sometimes happen. So just just let it load in and it'll bring you back out and up. Hello, hello. Hello. Okay, so I'm, I'm walking, I found the base, I fell through the planet, and now I am looking again at the base. Oh, it has, well, that's kind of an interesting design decision. That works, that works. Oh, I, this is kind of an interesting thing. Um, large refiners here. It looks like there's two of them, though. No, it's just, just the way the large refiner is. I hadn't realized. Okay. This is cute. I, I'm digging. It's, it's, it's a little bit different, but I'm kind of loving it here. So, yeah. Well, yeah, there are bases here, but I'm gonna go move, you know, I'm gonna do my traditional find a trading post thing. And yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to do anything super specific here, so. Okay, the goal here is to put the foot, footprint down, not necessarily to make it. No, there's bases on all of the planets in this system. Okay. Oh, I float up. I guess it went right above the base. so close to the other base. Sure. <coughs> like with, uh, with bases, you try to stay... Okay, yeah, I'm alright. I'm about 10 minutes away. And try to be at least uh, 500 to 100 units away. Um, 500 if you're good friends, 1,000 one if you're, um, if you're neighborly, and then farther if you just want to have a space that's more your own. Because, you know, you need places to grow and, and really close together bases to um, start having, <coughs> hard, start having uh, glitchy little issues, so. I got two trade posts going on here, and both of them look very busy. Well, how nice! All right, now I'm not gonna try and rename anything. I'm not doing anything in particular special. Cube here. See what they're selling. Oh, look at all that! Yeah. Nano crates. Um, Self-repairing heridium. That's interesting. I will take some pirate. Product received. Hello? 
I found a trading post. In fact, I found two apparently. When when I did the float up from the base, I came down and there were two trading posts. Um, and it looks like that uh, I'm I'm a good distance away from the other uh, bases. So I think we. Yeah, so I think we're doing all right here. I'm going to take advantage of this uh, heal box right here real quick. <coughs> and, uh, well, you know, to make sure that my health is at maximum and... Yeah. And then, um, I'm just going to take a generic look at the, the ships that are coming in here. They're, I won't call them pretty, because I, I don't necessarily think they are, but we've got, uh... A B class hauler. We've got uh, we've got a B class um, explorer. Uh, we have a C class fighter. So it seems like we've got a good range of, of types of ships. And actually, this hauler isn't bad. It's just really large. You know what I mean? Some of these things they they are just larger than what I will feel comfortable flying. Have having. In my lovely little interceptor that I have now, having bounced off buildings, you know? <laughs> and and I like to think of myself as a good driver, but I'm known to, that that feels like hitting the curb a little too often there. That's <laughs> one thing. <laughs> you know, just a little one too many there. Alright, so I've got my plant. Get my animal here real quick. If I can. I, I should be able to. I have good range on this, but flyers are hard to grab. There we go. There we go. Alright. And then it looks like there's some hummy sacks over there on the outside, so that's kind of cool. Another flyer, it didn't look like it was too much, but okay. I'm trying to find a rock, believe it or not. There's there's a lot of plants. There's a rock. Okay, I feel better now. Okay, well, I feel like we've actually accomplished quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to fly up and call my freighter to me because I can. And because this is a, a three-star system, um, I'm going to send the people out, and we'll have a pretty good chance of getting some good stuff uh, with the, with them going out. And one of the things I might do if we hang out here is um, I might go visit some of these uh, like ships and see if I can hire on a new add-in somebody before we go. Let me see if. It's someone who's interested in being part of my party here. Got a few here. Let's see, it's a C-class exploration. You know what? Yes, we're going to say yes, because the nice thing about C-classes it doesn't have any real major disadvantages is that um, they do grow in, in ability. So we're going to say yes to that. I think this might be a support ship over here. Yeah, definitely grabbing it. Might be a mining though. It's an industrial specialist. Also, which, which means it's good at mining. And I'm going to go ahead and say yes. We're going to grab that. Um, I don't, you can have up to 30 uh, different kinds of ships. And uh, this might be, this, if, if we keep it, well, we're definitely keeping it. Um, this might be the one where I try and build up a, a really full crew, including, like, psionic um, organic ships. I've never tried to go after and find organic ships. I did not mean to call them that. That, that's become a weird little habit. <laughs> let, me, let me try this uh, again. There we go. Oh my. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Great. Yep. All right. 
So, I am hopping out here, and my lovely C-Class capital ship, which I just appreciate so much for being awesome. I, I, I just am amazed at how lucky I am with this one. It was a really nice, maybe not overpowered ship, but a really nice interior to find. Alright, let's uh, send our guys out, and then I think we're going to call it good here. See where we can send them. Oh, it's going to kick me out. Well, I know a sign when I see one. It kicked me out, so I think we're going to call it good here. Um, we'll give it a moment to come back up again. But um, I think I appreciate y'all watching. I hope you have a really great day. And uh, we'll pick up again a little later today. Have a good one.